Hi there, Eric Baker, back again. What is enzyme deficiency? Well, it's what it is. You don't have enough enzymes. Either you're not getting enough in, or your body's not producing enough, or your body's breaking them down before they become highly active. So your body runs at a reasonably defined temperature around 37 centigrade, which I think is about 98.6 Fahrenheit. So it can drop to 36.1, or it can go up to 37.1. I think it's six or seven and again that's probably about 99 Fahrenheit and I think it's somewhere a bit under that so when your body's running an optimal metabolic rate you know meaning your thyroid's working well it's giving your body at the right temperature your enzyme activity is optimized many patients I've seen over the years with low or high thyroid function or adrenal function can have an impaired ability for the body to not particularly manufacture the enzymes but utilize these enzymes for example, when a person's got a high fever, their pancreas is not really well at all and they can't really digest food properly. You'll find that when you're really sick and sweating, your appetite's, you know, it's not really there. So the key thing I see with people with enzyme deficiency is stress. Now, I've spoken about this many times in my videos that when you're under stress, when you're in the fight or flight, you know, if you're at the traffic light and there's a guy beeping his horn behind you and the kids are yelling in the back seat, all you're interested in is getting out of that stressful situation. So you've got stress hormones, adrenaline, cortisol, other hormones come into play. These elevate. Fight or flight reduces the body's ability to produce enzymes, hands down. It's one of the key reasons why people have enzyme deficiency. Now you'll be saying, ah, but I'm not stressed, I'm not stressed. If you've got a pulse, you've got stress. If you're alive, you've got stress. Unless you're a robot watching this, you've probably got stress. So when you're in the rest and digest or in the parasympathetic mode, <clears throat> as it says, it's rest and digest. Your enzyme output and efficiency increases significantly. The more relaxed people, people who meditate regularly, do yoga and breathe properly, tend to have a lot less bloating and gas and, and people are honking their horn <clears throat> and people are constantly on these mobile phones looking at videos of themselves getting likes all over the place and you know it's incredible so that's the key thing I see today with young people but also people my age is stress induced enzyme deficiency eating the poor quality foods that many people eat most raw natural foods contain enzymes to allow you to digest them as you're eating them bananas for example contain amylase you know, which is a carbohydrate digesting enzyme. But if you're going to have a packet of fries with salt on it, there's probably not a lot of enzymes in those fries that have been embalmed in hot fat, you know, stinky fries. So as you can see, eating healthy food induces healthy digestion and better utilization of enzymes. Eating crappy food doesn't do that at all. It pushes you into bloating and gas, too much sugar, too much salt. Man-made foods are very poor for the gut and generally over time will induce increasing enzyme deficiency. <clears throat> when you're starting to eat a healthier food, your body will start to really come up and produce more enzymes and break that food down efficiently, <clears throat> both because the food contains the enzymes and because the body starts producing more to break those natural foods down. We'll talk a lot more about foods a bit later on. <clears throat> Excuse me, bug. My throat. I get that a bit sometimes. Not a lack of enzymes. When I get up really early in the morning to make the videos, I need to drink water. That's my problem. It's hot in New Zealand at the moment. We've had around 35, what's that around, I don't know, 96 or something. It's been really hot. I've been trying to drink at least two to three liters of water a day. It's a lot of water. So we talked about the enzyme deficiency. It's a key thing I see with so many people. I think many people take it for granted when they eat food that the body's going to digest that food properly. But the key message on this video is if you don't understand the relationship with stress and you have got a digestive problem, you're probably not really going to get a fantastic digestive system like mine if you don't really understand that concept and learn to relax a lot more. I've talked a lot about the sympathetic and parasympathetic imbalance. In my mind, that's one of the leading reasons why today people have enzyme deficiency. High stress, poor diets. Even your ability to chew food properly and produce potalin, a carbohydrate digesting enzyme in the saliva, becomes very impaired under stress. So when you're eating 
any type of carbohydrate food and you're under stress, you're chewing that food, your carbohydrate enzyme in the salivary gland is downput. Your pancreas is downput. So you basically, it's like trying to uh, get into an automobile and take a couple of spark plugs out of the cylinder and then try and drive uphill. It's going to cough and fart and spit and not perform properly. If we put the spark plugs back in the engine and we put proper gasoline in the car, it's going to drive up that hill. Try and understand that concept. I'll see you in the next video.